to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Eight rounds among light heavyweights. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind him. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Stacey takes a step back, then the counter punch by Black Mamba. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Blocks the headshot. Black Mamba's left, working well that time. Able to land the hook to the head. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. He took it. Bad intentions is stunned, and he is hurt. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. No, this big, big shot comes crashing home. A huge shot rains down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make right now. Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Bad intentions is defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Body shot, left hand. Nice block by bad intentions. If the shorter guy can get to the inside against the taller fighter, how can he do damage on the inside? What should we look for from him? Well, you remember when you were a kid and you walked downtown in Manhattan, you looked up at the Empire State Building, all those great tall buildings? Well, it's the same thing. You suddenly get inside and you look up and wow! A... And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Oh! Wow, is this good stuff! What good stuff! He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Black Mamba's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Look at that combination by Black Mamba. It's all right. Keep How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Bad intentions is snapped by a right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Nice block. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Black Mamba. Sound defense, good block that time by Bad Intentions. Now that backhand, the straight left hand scores. Look at that! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Two, three, four. Allen's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. A shooting right hand by Black Mamba. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Boom, left hand comes home. Look at this swarming attack. That is, oh, and there you go. And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. Allen 
is in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winner, Black Mamba is able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.